going on? Welcome to the channel in Auto Addiction. Today we're going to check out the new 2020 HD. This one's a 6.6 .6 liter, but it's a gas engine. So we're going to check this one out. Try to be one of the first videos up on this guy. Uh, just took delivery of it today at our dealership. So we're on Norris GMC. I work back in service. So we, this one's already sold. So let's right, check so it out. First off, I do have to say is that I love the way they made the fender wells match in the front and the back and they're not squared off and then rounded they're actually you know squared off the same front and back of the fender wells so that's pretty nice this one is the AT4 HD I was all thrown off man I was super pumped that it was a 6.6 and then I started this thing up all right guys listen to this thing start up I was like, no, it's a gas. So, 6.6 .6 liter gas engine. They don't even have a mileage rating on these yet. Let's see what they get miles per gallon. The grill is pretty sick. It's still, it's not a functional ram air hood though. So they still give it the ram air look, but it's not a functional ram air look. Shut it off so that way you guys can hear me better. Uh, AT4s have the different tow hooks in the front. The lights on this thing are pretty sick. So, it's got the fog lights down on the lower bumper. They come paint the match versus all chrome. Uh, they put lights in the fender wells, which is pretty sweet. You guys saw that on the intro. They did relocate the mirrors, which I thought was gonna be super ugly. And I know Dirty Max Jack's already got one rolling on 2214s. So, sorry I'm not that cool. I can't do that kind of video, but at least I can uh, show you the truck before it hits a lot of the dealers. This guy's been waiting on this truck for like six months. I did put the step in the bed, so that's pretty sweet. This one's not going to have running boards or anything on it. It's got the touch lock and unlock, which is super sweet. Everything's going to push button now. The AT4 sills. The seats are pretty sweet, all leather. And it's got the different color inserts going up the seat back with the AT4 logo up in the up in the headrest side uh, glove box still got the dual glove boxes pretty sweet and then uh, I'll go around back and then I'll go over to the driver's side so that even the back doors has the passive lock and unlock they did the same thing with the seats in the back. Same thing with the seats in the back. It's got the leather inserts, uh, the stitching all the way around. It's got compartments in the back seats. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Cup holders. Do you say AT4 on them or not? No AT4s on the rear headrest, but figured I'd check. It's pretty sweet. It's kind of like a carbon fiber look on the door sills. They continue the same stitching all along the door panels, so I do have to say the door panels are super awesome. Uh, cab design is pretty much the same as like the 191500s. It's real squared off in the back. It's got the third window that opens up. AT4s come with the Rancho shocks. Just supposed to have a little bit of upgraded, a little bit of upgraded suspension on them. And then of course the tailgate that everybody loves, LEDs on the taillights. And then of course the video that went viral that I did a long time ago, which is your taste of tar out of you, where the if you leave your hitch in there, it will hit the tailgate if you drop it all the way down. So don't do that. It comes with a sprayed in bed liner already with the AT4. I want to say, when you lift up that tailgate after it's in the second fold down, it is pretty heavy. You know, especially for like a one handed flip up. It's got the big GMC on the back, the Sierra AT4 badge. Doesn't really sound that crazy. Sounds like it's like my 6.2 does. So kind of 
sounds like my 6.2 liter in my Yukon does. Fuel door still on the driver's side. Mirrors with the LEDs. It's pretty sweet. This one has the cab lights across the top. I don't know if light up or not. Let me turn them on for you guys so you can see. down here lights up there so yeah I got the lights up there lights in the mirrors lights in the fenders so I think GM's trying to take to the aftermarket world where everybody wants lights everywhere power seats of course it goes up down lumbar uh, driver door panel looks pretty much the same as the the years past in the 19 uh, 1500s it didn't change much in the 18 2500s. It's got the carbon fiber. Let my camera adjust here. All right, from the driver's per perspective, it's still got the stitching around the steering wheel, all up around the dash. Super nice. Not getting no station because the antenna's not on. This one hasn't even been through the shop yet, so let's go to the home screen. Of course, it's got navigation, AM, FM, XM, all that good stuff. So they changed up the dash a little bit. It's pretty sweet. I like the readouts of it. I like the design of it. it looks pretty nice. And then over here on this side, you have your different driving mode. So you click it to the left, you can turn your trailer mode on and off. And then if you click it to the right, you can do normal driving or change it to off-road mode. So that's pretty cool. Got your auto four-wheel drive. Instead of having the dial to change it from auto, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it's just all push button. Uh, you got your cargo lights and stuff for over here now for your bed lights. Of course, your headlights on and off, which I had them on so I could show you guys the cab lights. And then you still got all kinds of buttons over here. So you got your lane assist, parking assist, your tailgate drop. You can drop the tailgate right from inside or turn it on and off. Your trash control, um, your outlet, and then your hill, hill descend. Uh, and this one has a built-in trailer brake controller too. So that's pretty nice. So instead of having the trailer brake controller over here like it's been in the past, uh, they did put the trailer brake controller down here. USB ports. Got your massive phone holder. So instead of having your phone charger up here, you got your phone charger here um, with the wireless charging. So that's a pretty cool feature. So that way you can actually see your phone down in the console uh, while it's charging so they bump up the headliner it's pretty sweet in the back and the front so it gives you a lot more headroom like I'm 6'2 and I still got two foot above me so I'll take this thing drive it into the shop say overall this one's 84 so it's supposed to sit a little higher you know have a little bit stiffer suspension but uh I think overall this thing drives real nice. We won't be able to drive it too far because uh, it has no gas in it. But you gotta put about five to 10 miles on them whenever you PDI them. Just to make sure there's no, I mean they do quality control on them. Like this one came in, it had 19 miles on it. Um, but they still want us at the dealerships to put five to 10 miles on them after we get them, just so that way we can make sure that there's no oil pressure issues or something like that. I've been in the business like eight years and we have had one where it had oil pressure issues right off the bat. We ended up having to put an engine in it. It wasn't a, it was a Buick Enclave, but you do get the rare occasions when that stuff kind of happens, so. 
pull up underneath here and uh, I'll go over the outside one more time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's hop out here. Of course, push button start and show you guys that. Rear seat reminder, make sure there's no kids back there. Shoot. Of course, with all the distractions in the world today, you need that. Kind of make sure there's, don't leave your kids in the car. It seems to be a common problem nowadays. It's pretty sad. All right, so I'll turn the lights on for you guys. Headlights are pretty sick, I think. Kind of makes them look like they got three stages. Yeah, I would say overall, I was kind of worried about this truck. wasn't really sure how it was going to look. You know, there's a lot of hating on this truck. But seeing the GMC Sierra 2500 HD in person, it is a nice looking truck, man. It's going to look super sick when people start lifting them, putting wheels and tires on them. Uh, I think these wheels look a little small with the big old fender wells. Um, but Dirty Mac Jacks, this looks just freaking awesome. So yeah, if you guys got any questions, you know, if you're new to the channel, checking in, appreciate it. Um, appreciate all the support on the channel. Please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe hey guys, to the hit channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about the 2020 2500 HD. This one's a 6.6 .6 gas. So I can't wait till we get Allison in uh, with a Duramax. So it's supposed to be the new 10-speed uh, Allison, I believe. I uh, could get be wrong, but I think it's a 10 speed Allison with the Duramax. So whenever I get that truck in, I'll do a video on it. But uh, appreciate y'all watching. You guys have a great night. See you guys on the next video.